Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. In this video, I'm briefly going to discuss 99 and 50 year leases. Uh, basically, in, in the past couple of weeks, uh, since the time of this filming, in the English language press and in the Thai press, it's been uh, noted that a discussion has been going on at fairly high government levels, uh, and it seems imminent approval is maybe going to happen with respect to this issue. Uh, but basically, Thailand is looking possibly to update the laws regarding leases and the length thereof in the kingdom. Um, so as, as is explained on other videos on this, uh, in this channel, uh, basically the, in Thailand, from a feasibility standpoint, it's really only possible to get a 30-year lease on a given piece of property, um, at least for residential use. There's, there's, some, there's some differences with respect to things like industrial estates and certain commercial venues, but for residential usage, this, it's only possible generally to receive a 30-year lease of Thai property. Uh, specifically real estate. And it, it's recently come to my attention that there's been a discussion about possibly lengthening the amount of time that land can be leased in Thailand. Specifically, it's recently been discussed at least uh, within the uh, pertaining to the so-called Eastern Economic Corridor, the possibility of having 99-year leases. Uh, now, these are going to be commercial leases in essence, and they're going to be uh, industrial estates primarily, but it would appear to be possible or that it may be a possibility in the relatively near future that 99 leases could be a possibility uh, within that, within the bailiwick of that uh, project. And part of that project is, is a, an upgrade of infrastructure with respect to airports and airport rail links, etc. And as part of, as sort of an incentive for foreign direct investment, um, it's been bandied about the notion of increasing the uh, amount of time that land can be leased in Thailand uh, with the 99 lease seeming to be uh, the solution that's gained consensus. Um, with respect to residential property, it now appears that it may be possible relatively soon, provided all of this is approved, it may be possible relatively soon to go ahead and see a 50-year lease uh, with respect to Thai property. Again, as of, as of the time of this filming, none of this has been set in stone and it does not appear yet to be uh, the law of the land as it were, but it appears to be a significant possibility. Uh, it should be noted that there are various groups here in Thailand who are um, contesting this notion or, or are kind of basically have a difference of opinion with respect to whether or not these, these new changes should be implemented. Um, how this all pans out remains to be seen. But I do think it's rather likely that we're going to see some kind of change with respect to the law on leases in the relatively near future. 